still here. We are right. still recovering from the bitterness of the Forbidden Pumpkin. Well, we have done this one before. I don't know if it was just last year or many years before that, but it, it's, it's Squanto's uh, Pumpkin Remember last ale. year I looked it up and Squanto's is a real person. That's right. I was like, I thought this was fake. Yes, Quanto's a real person. Yeah, it's a 5.3 percenters by Lost World Brewing, and Lost World is in Cornelius. Yeah, it's right local. up the road. And there's actually quite the little spiel on the Written back here. Written in some old-timey font. Squanto's Spice Pumpkin Ale, 1620. Pilgrims arrive at Plymouth Rock. Over the following year, they spread pestilence. No, that's not what it says. Over the following year, most of them perish from starvation and exposure. Good. Fortunately, Squanto, also known as Tisquantum, the sole survivor of the Pawtuxet tribe, I wonder why he was the sole survivor, maybe because we brought fucking smallpox, um, walks into the encampment. Fluent in English from a time of servitude in England, Squanto introduces the pilgrims to the local Native Americans who teach them survival skills. Squanto's is a seasonal brew that delivers the flavors of pumpkin pie. I fail to understand the tie-in between this guy who was cool and pumpkin pie, but I'm here for it regardless. I just think it's a catchy name. Yes. So, somebody's got all the yarn down there. Care. That's fine. That's not... Oh, God. You know... It's speaking, like we trade one for another. Just... Ah, uh, Lord. It's pests. Oscar. It's got a nice color. It does. Not too heavy on the orange or the amber color or anything like that. I'm still going to spin it and get all the funk. That's got a lot of head. A lot. Oh, dude. What are you doing? It's fine. Okay. This smells like a spice deal. You can smell the spices, the pumpkin. It smells yeah. not bitter and scary like the last one. Yeah, Jesus. Yowza. The malts are two row crystal 80 dark Munich honey malt. Mm. Hops are Magnum and Liberty. I don't know what the hell any of that means, but okay. Easy drinking beer. Very. Not, not overly anything. No, not really. Not it's a not ton like of a punch spice in the flavor. face. Not a ton of pumpkin. Not a lot of cinnamon. You could have just called this a spice ale, I think, and, yeah. and that would have been fine. I mean. I'm not getting a lot of pumpkin or cinnamon or anything like that necessarily. No, I think I blasted my palate out. With That's that true. IPA, yeah, was a, so I mean, it's good. Yeah, it's not blowing me away though. I don't remember what last year's. I guess I should have looked at last year's review before this yeah. one. Like we did that, <clears throat> the other one, the Flash Gordon one, and we had done it once before, and it was really good. Yeah. This year, not good. Not a fan. So uh, this one's good, but again, you could have called it uh, just the spice ale. You could have took pumpkin right out of the label. So yeah. this is Squanto's pumpkin spice ale. Mm -hmm. It's by do, 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 Lost, Lost World. World up in Cornelius. It's decent. It's a good spice ale, but I wouldn't say there's a lot of pumpkin it's not in there. Knocking my socks off, but I don't dislike it. It's, Definitely not. It's easy drinking for sure. Okay. Good. All right. We'll be back with more. We have a ton of pumpkins to do, and Christmas beers are out. We are getting the Christmas beers. So we, we, they're already sitting over there, ready to be chilled. So mm -hmm. we're just rolling on. We'll be back. Not today, but you know, another day. You never know. That's true. All right. <laughs> <laughs> 